Wolfenstein Youngblood is one of the most poorly received titles in the entire franchise. But what are some of the worst features in this cooperative experience? Here are 5 ways that Wolfenstein Youngblood is a train wreck, and of course this video contains spoilers, so let this be your warning. There's nothing wrong with trying new things, in fact, I encourage developers to do this, but they have to be done right. Wolfenstein Youngblood attempted to infuse RPG elements into its core gameplay in the worst possible way, by level gaining content. If you look at the core story missions compared to the side missions, they are way too lopsided. The sheer amount of tedious missions involving killing and looting key objectives is simply absurd. And all of this is to increase the longevity of the game as you will need to reach at least level 40 before you can take on the final mission. If you attempt to bypass the side missions and encounter an enemy who is a couple of levels higher than you, death is certain. Who doesn't love having to stop an intense FPS battle to think about what weapon is needed while a tsunami of bullets are shot your way? Because you'll need to constantly do that in Wolfenstein Youngblood. Look at a game like Mass Effect. Instantly you can tell what type of protection the enemy has and choose what works best within seconds. Within seconds the player is given ample information to decide what armor type and what specific attacks are necessary while taking long pauses. The active combat system is non-existent in Young Blood. This is because the tiny bars that showcase what weapons are needed are so poorly designed that you have to analyze what weapon works that takes a few minutes. Just use the damn colored bar. Who doesn't love enemies constantly respawning? For some reason, the developers not only brought back the commanders that can respawn enemies indefinitely until killed, but increased the respawn rate for all the enemies. The respawn rate is so high that the game encourages you to not kill Nazis, the primary goal of the Warf Wolfenstein franchise. Added to the frustration is the massive lack of resources. Ammunition is in short supply for some reason, and if killed during a mission, your supplies do not replenish unless you head back to the catacombs and refill at the armory. Who thought this was a good idea? Oh yeah, I forgot to add that enemies are basically bullet sponges to create an artificial sense of challenge. I was annoyed with the new Colossus this ended. Not only did it rob the player what could have been an incredible boss fight against a genuinely good antagonist, but the ending didn't provide any conclusion. You were told that the people rose up and started fighting back against the Nazis who occupied America, but you didn't see it. Eventually, Young Blood just decided, you know what, let's repeat that. You find out who the villain is, which is completely predictable in Young Blood, and the final battle against him is actually challenging and fun, but the game just ends. Now suddenly the people are fighting against the Nazis once again, and the game just ends? This sequel baiting is the worst kind of sequel baiting. Take notes from Dragon Age Inquisition. See how sequels should be hinted at, not just end the game with something so anticlimactic. There is no reason for a campaign focused game to include microtransactions. Youngblood not only includes microtransactions, but one of their options cost half the total game. For now, the only thing that you can buy using the premium currency are cosmetics, but they are often terrible, with some labels hinting that you can only unlock them through premium currency. When I saw that the final armor variant only had premium currency labels, I assumed this. Until I started playing and found out you can unlock them through gameplay. Seriously, who thought this was a good idea? It is a genuinely single player game. It should not include this. So those are my top 5 reasons that Wolfenstein Youngblood is a train wreck. Do you have your own reasons of why you either hate or like this game? Let me know in the comments below. In addition, I'll also have my walkthrough and review in the description below. Till next time everyone, stay awesome.